Okay, this uh, video, the following video is gonna show how to troubleshoot and fix an issue where you have a loose wire that prevents, or, or a broken wire that prevents the engine from shutting off when you idle it all the way down. Um, the video is gonna show uh, the troubleshooting process where this is taken off. You know, these are, these are taken off. In hindsight, that probably wasn't necessary. Uh, so I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Uh, to, before you take everything apart, watch the rest of the video. And depending on where your wiring is broken or loose, you could uh, probably skip some steps um, because the fix is right is right here. It was pretty much accept, accessible the whole time. I didn't know it at the time, but so anyways, the rest of the video to follow. Okay, so if you're like me, you probably got done snow blowing and you went to turn off your snow blower and you throttled it down all the way and usually that stops the engine, but it just kept running, it kept idling. So what I had to do was turn off the gas and let it run out of gas. But the issue is, and there's, there's an, a couple other videos, but this, None of them have both, none of them had the safety switch, safety key like mine has. So basically when you shut off your engine, there's two ways to do it. Um, it's, it's basically turn off by grounding the engine. Um, when, you, when you push down the throttle, it makes a connection there and then there's a wire that grounds the coil, that turns it off. Another way to do it is um, by pulling this key out. Now I've, I've already got this out here. So you gotta take this off and there's other videos show you how to take this off. But basically, basically sorry about the lighting here. Uh, I need to, just the lighting, hang on. So, um, basically when you, when you have the safety key and this, I took this out just because, um, just to show how the key works. But basically, yeah, so this, this wire was just loose. I'm like, where the heck does that wire go now, All right? And a lot of, a lot of, um, snow blowers if you don't have the safety extra safety key then this will just connect right here but when you have a safety key um it provides a secondary way to ground the engine and basically if you see that little thing right there this little wire so right now it's grounded so the engine won't start but Pause it. When you push in the safety key, right? See it, how it pushes that? So that's in the run position. Your engine will start now because this isn't connecting this wire here. So that's all that little safety key does. You don't twist it or anything. You just push it in or pull it out. All right. So, but anyways, so I was like, okay, well, so where does this wire go? Right? I thought maybe it went here, it doesn't. Uh, it actually goes right in here. And uh, the easiest way to fix it is to, number one, you can take this part off. See this? There's a couple different clip systems here. So this, take this right off of there. Get, get this out of the way. Um, you really don't, you didn't, I didn't need to take I did not need to take this out of here. Um, I know that now, but um, since I have it out, I thought I'd show you guys how that works. Uh, and so then the next step is to, this thing actually pulls out. Let's see if you can see it. You just kind of wiggle it and it will come out. Kind of pull it straight down. There, see? 
So that's it right there. It goes right back in there. And so what you need to do is I'm going to need to open up. Let's see. I'm not very good with the camera here. You can see that's the, um, the wire goes. Sorry about the camera work here, but the wire kind of goes right in here. That, that loose wire, this wire here, you got to strip that back a little bit and then put it, I'm going to have to open that up again and then recrimp it and then uh, reinstall it. So, okay. So by far the hardest part of this repair uh, is figuring out how to decrimp this crimp connection so you can reconnect the wire. It was, it was almost impossible. Um, the only way, well, I, I, I did it by, I used a pair of these guys to start basically going like that and getting in between those two little and kind of wiggling back and forth, getting some space. Then I used a combination of an awl. This little awl held up really good, actually. I was kind of, I was pretty surprised, master mechanic. This little awl to get in there. To get down in there. Out of that and a little screwdriver kind of going back and forth like that to open that up. Uh, it was a real pain. I don't know if it was worth it, uh, but I didn't, I thought about ordering a new one. I don't know what size to get, uh, but you might want to look into trying to see if you can find a, a new one to purchase. Um, or you could try soldering the wire on there. You know, that would involve having soldering supplies and knowing how to solder, um, which was an option. Uh, I just, I didn't want to do that on the, uh, with the gas tank right, right there, right near it. So, uh, I don't know, maybe that might've worked though. If, if you know how to solder safely, uh, just safety point, <laughs> be careful putting a lot of pressure using these, make sure your hands aren't in the way cause it slipped off a few times and, uh, almost put this thing right through my, right through my finger or right through my hand. So let's be careful. I use this, I used a pair of pliers to, uh, hold it most of the time while I was working on it, keep my fingers away. Also, uh, you can't really go too hard on this cause you don't want to break this, right? If you break this, then you're kind of up the creek. So, uh, kind of just took a while to do. So anyways, now the next step is to try to recrimp that wire. So we're going to see how that goes. Okay. So, um, I was able to crimp that back on. So make sure you do it the right way. Um, going up that way. Because this, this is going to go up into, up into here. And then this, you want this flat part for the other one to connect to. So, um, and it took a little bit of finagling to get that back on, but uh, let's see. It's gonna go. Right up in here, let's see. Goes right up. that now you have the other one to connect to so this other one which comes from your safety key right that's gonna go 
just like that. And now, once you put everything back together again, everything should work. It'll shut off when you idle it all the way down. It'll make that connection. It'll ground the engine and uh, shut it off at the coil. So uh, we'll test it out here in a minute. Amazing. It actually worked. All right. Good luck.